The challenges that continue to keep me up at night are focused on what's happening, what, what don't I know about, and, and specifically with the external quality space. So we do a lot of work with vendors, uh, external vendors, and it's always a challenge to ensure that at the end of the day, the material that they're putting out meets the quality expectations that we have for ourselves at AstraZeneca. And ensuring that is, is really challenging. And one of the places that we continue to try to improve is through the relationships with those organizations. So whatever we can do to make the partnership mutually beneficial, teach them so that they understand where we're coming from and, and talking with them. But at the end of the day, there's always something happening at one of those CMOs that has an impact on quality that we need to work through and then try to come up with solutions so that we mitigate that so it doesn't occur again in the future. The other thing is around data integrity and audit trails. So this is around ensuring that we have good data, source data, we can find our data, because all that information is critical for our regulatory submissions. Industry can work with the regulators just in a collaborative way, starting to kind of have discussions around what, what do they expect to see, what, what don't they understand, because all they get is a big, basically, document from us. And we've synthesized huge amounts of information to come up with some conclusions that we believe are appropriate, but we may not be telling a full story there. And it's difficult to do that in, in the written word uh, when you file a, a marketing application. So I think just having more open dialogues about what's, what, it, what is safe, what, what does safety mean, how can we leverage data across modalities, across drugs, to improve our understanding, how can we harness the power of big data to, to set even better standards for safety and efficacy. We have these massive data databases full of safety, safety signals from all of our clinical trials, yet I'm not sure how often we actually crack those open and, and look across programs to understand what's safe and what's not safe. If we ourselves, our companies, look for ways to improve our ability to look through that information and come up with our own conclusions and start bringing those to the agencies to say, this is what we're seeing, and just have that open dialogue. I think cooperation and collaboration is incredibly important in this industry because we're all learning different things. If we're gonna move medicines to patients faster, we have to have some collective information. We have to be able to pool our information so that we all have access to what's safe and what's not safe so that we can all learn from that because in the end of the day, if we're not all focusing on patient safety, then, then we're not after the right thing here. By pooling our resources and pooling that information across industries and, and even maybe across regulatory agencies, we would be able to make huge strides going forward, not only in how do we develop medicines, but how do we help patients.